Ah, this is the life, I'll tell you. We've got more extreme weather coming in. Look at the cloud up there. You can see that cloud shifting up there. There's probably some, some chump up there right now. We'll post a video of extreme weather on, on YouTube. Probably tent got wrecked, probably got soaked. Probably get 10,000 views for extreme disastrous camping in the Peak District. But, ooh. Well, we're down here in extreme comfort at one o'clock in the afternoon, obviously doing this camping, hiking, malarkey thing completely wrong. You know, they say you should set up late. <laughs> I'm going to say F off. <laughs> Piss off this thing. I always uh, be a bit careful. I really don't swear. I don't know why I started doing that, but it's kind of funny sometimes. Um, <laughs> piss off first thing in the morning the next day. <laughs> We're going to have the town and council, the planners coming along for a ride. <laughs> uh, they'll be asking for planning, planning permission. Mind you, for this uh, trail star, when you think how, how big it is, I reckon there's some people's mansions aren't as, aren't as grandiose as this. I mean, look at the size of the bloody thing. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Well, you did go outside in the rain and get all soaky wet, didn't you? We're still in camp. We're staying here today. The weather is really not that pleasant out as you can see it's raining misty i'm not quite sure what the maximum wind speed was uh last night because for some reason it didn't record uh I, maybe i pressed the wrong button or something i don't know i never know what i'm doing but i know i know the hourly uh maximum speed was 21 there may have been some gusts down here that were more than 21, but I can't say, you know, I can't say for sure. I'm watching, <laughs> basically all I've done so far is, is drink tea, finish watching Grease. I don't know whether any of you have ever seen the film Grease. I'd never in my life seen it. And, you know, I've obviously heard about it and I somehow it came up on my feed of uh, films to download or I saw it or I don't know anyway I downloaded it and then I, um, I watched the film Grease it was quite good actually quite quite I don't know god knows when it was made it must be in the like 60s 60s early 70s it's pretty old anyway so we watched that that was quite a kind of, kind of, kind of fun fun singing songing things and now something completely different rise of the foot soldiers i'll just show you around camp so obviously everything stayed up overnight like i said it wasn't exactly gale force down here don't worry if the edge of your mat kind of goes over the edge of the ground sheet you know a little bit as long as it's as long as there's nothing underneath that's going to puncture it or cause any problems and as long as you've got something there you know just to stop it from getting damp or something you know that, that that's fine you don't need to worry you know you don't need to worry yourself about that you can see over here my raincoat has caught some of the splashes there so basically it's doing its job there, you know, stopping rain, getting in at me. So job done there. This pillow here is, is doing 
is doing fine, uh, hasn't gone down yet. I think it's the more heavy duty, it's not just the ultra light X pad uh, pillow, it's the slightly, it's a slightly heavier duty, you know, X pad pillow. I've got this much space here, so obviously I can bring the, I can bring the mat forward, you know, a few inches, you know, so if you are a bit pedantic about your, your mattress over the edge there, you know, obviously you can move it slightly to the right and slightly forward and, and that will get it, you know, on the thing. But I think I'm on just a little bit of a slope here. So I am kind of sliding down. I'm not sure how far inside the door we are, but it's good. I don't know if it's 18 inches or thereabouts, but it's, uh, it's a, we're, we're a good foot under cover here. But we, we did have, we did have a very good night's sleep. It was quite windy and, and it was quite rainy, but I put my earplugs in. I mean, now I've got earplugs that actually work and stay in. Then I'm probably, I must admit, especially when it's, you know, raining and, and windy, more likely to use them. So the first night I tried this one here, this kind of like Christmas tree type thing, and then last night I put the bung in and on both occasions they stayed in. They didn't block, they don't block all sound out, but they certainly reduce the pitter patter of rain and wind blowing on the uh, Cuban Trail Star. Links in the description below. <laughs> you can see the weather station is just sodden. I mean, it's just an absolutely miserable. And we're very cosy, you know, and I'm in the doorway of the trail star. I've got a little bit of headroom here. If I moved over, then I'd have, you know, even more headroom. I've got oodles of, I've got so much space in here. I mean, I've got that whole corner over there, which literally is in a different it's a different postcode area over there and it's not being <laughs> it's not being used and we're very very comfortable in here i cannot for the life of me understand why people prefer a small cooped up tent when you can have all of this space even in a regular trail star or or a mid or something like that. Yes, it's maybe not the easiest to get in the door, but once you're inside, you've got so much livable space in here, it's ridiculous. So we're very, very happy and comfortable um, in, in here. It's just, it's perfect. This just beats any tent, hands down. Yes, the tent, you're kind of a bit more cosy maybe with your, your edges to the side and your inners and, and everything else like that. But you, you just don't have this vast acreage. And you know, it is nice to be able to look out the door and not have to do the door up. Well, there is the door to do up, but and not have to do the door up when the world is going to pot around you outside, you can be doing fine in here. So if we're knocking on the door of 30 miles an hour down here, God alone knows how, you know, windy it is up the top. It must be, you know, 40 or 50 up there. I mean, because we're the other side of a valley here. Really quite, quite a sheltered, quite a sheltered valley here. And so far, I've not seen anyone, you know, walking past at all. I think it's probably a quieter um, path, this one. But given the weather, it's not really a surprise that not that many people are, are out and about. Probably busier up, up and down here. The weather's a bit nicer. It would probably make quite a nice circular, circular walk, park down at the bottom of William Clough, come up down here around the back, up Fairbrook Nays, Fairbrook Brook, 
and die in that way. So, you know, maybe inadvertently we've actually discovered another another trail that we could that we could do. Yee! It's really hammering it down now. We've got the extreme weather. Now we can put extreme in the title. Extreme wind. Oh, it just eased off a bit, but it's pretty extreme. But look, extreme weather, and we've got about two spots of water, a couple of spots of water have extremely managed to get in. So now we have to abandon camp. Epic failure. Two spots of rain have got in. <laughs> oh, God. You see, people be panicking because the, the mat isn't on the ground sheet. Rain's got in. Imagine what people worry and panic about. My only concern is, have I got enough milk? Plenty. <laughs> and have I got enough tea bags? <laughs> Plenty. I think that's boiling. You see that, that, that that's the perfect meth, meth stove. It's like a teeny weeny, like a little, I don't know, it's almost like a makeup, um, metal makeup thing with fireproof stuff inside it. So we, we, we finished Rise of the Foot Soldiers or, or Origins. Or no, stay there, stay there, stay there, Lassie. Look at the state of you, Lassie. No, stay. No, stay. I'm going knocking everything. Stay. <laughs> and I written no, it, Lassie. Oh, God. <laughs> no, you stay there. Mind you, put that paw back there. Oh, Lassie. No. You're like the creeping lurgy, aren't you? You just want to do a bit of lassie time. Is that what it, no, you stay there. Just, just try and get you in the camera. You stay there. Okay, you're soaking wet. Oh, lassie, you are a good girl. You're very good. You're very patient, aren't you? Oh, lassie. I've got to have my tea because the kettle's gone and boiled and I don't want the water to get... Oh, you are cold and wet. Well, I mean, you're not cold, but you're wet. You, your coat's cold. <laughs> you're pretty nice and toasty under all that. All that blub... No, you stay there with that blubber you've got. I'm sure you're a bit overweight, Lassie. <laughs> oh... Lassie, you are a sweet... All right, now come on, let's settle down now. Let's go back. Oh, Lassie. Oh, Lassie, Lassie. Oh, it's a... It's a miserable old day out there. No, go back. It's not very nice today, Lassie. It's a good trouble not having to go home today. <laughs> it would be a really horrible walk back to the car. We're just going for a little walk up the valley. I've left everything in camp because I can see camp from here. You can see the, the wind or the mist whipping across up there. Okay, it looks like everything's okay home-wise. I've not had any panicked messages. There are, there's two people going up and it doesn't look like for the night and a couple of people, let's see, coming down. So there are people, you know, up there, but I, and yes, it would have made for a more interesting 
it would have made for a more interesting video and you know part of me kind of wishes that I'd been able to do it but like I said if you watch the first part of this trip I got to the top up there on Wednesday and, and the wind was so strong I was virtually being blown off my feet and I, I literally couldn't move so I thought sod this and I just turned when it came down and obviously found somewhere else to, to pitch up and camp. The mountain will be there you know forever and a day it's not going anywhere so I can go up there you know another time. But if you think that it was up to 30 miles an hour down in camp and that's a few hundred meters below here so god alone knows i didn't bring the weather i should have put the weather station up here but it must be 35 odd up here i mean it's it's pushing me along it's uncomfortable without walking poles i'm using the mountain weather uk you've got to pay for it but it's not very much and i think it's a one-off fee it was like five pounds or something like that well, i suppose one advantage of of this it's it's helped dry these trousers out i reckon a bit because they were quite they were quite damp when i put them on <sighs> i think I might actually, in these conditions, wear gaiters, I think, when I'm wearing boots, because whilst I'm pretty sure these boots are waterproof, not like the Innovates, because in the Innovates, my socks were literally just sodding, sodden, you know, literally dripping wet. With these, my socks are just quite damp, which I'm more putting down to just the bottom of my trousers getting so wet. Yeah, still there how we left it. She's done me, she's done me proud this trip. And she always does. This is old, it's like old faithful this. I go faithful. And then I can get my water just down there. We haven't been ransacked while we're gone. That's how, <laughs> that's how I left it. No one would ransack that if they saw that. They probably think, thought, think some, some plague or zombie horde had been through and would leg it if anyone saw that. So we'll just have show you around the outside then. This side here, because there's nothing here, that's why I've allowed this side to be higher. This side here, I've kind of pegged low to the ground, not so much because there's anything there, there, there isn't as such, but because this is the prevailing wind direction. And this is also a prevailing wind direction so there is really no exact logic as to why i've let this side be a little bit higher I, I guess the only logic in a way is given that my feet and everything are there it's kind of useful to have it a little bit higher use things as extra protection inside and it gives more foot room so there is some logic to that madness and this side i've also kept quite high it's opposite the prevailing wind and you know again i'm protecting it with the pack and other things like that to give me you know more shoulder room inside you could obviously you know pitch it lower if you needed to but this, this is a good height here and it's not the most even of ground here as you can see and it's pitched it's pitched perfectly well as i say this side here you know is a little bit flappy that is the one thing with the cuban trail style you're not gonna get necessarily every panel completely tight it's kind of a matter of getting 
you know, as much of it tight as is possible, really. You can see Lassie down there. You know, if you can spare a few days, nothing really beats just pitching your tent preferably somewhere in the middle of nowhere i mean i know this is on a main path but it's this time of the year it's it's virtually the middle of nowhere where you're not disturbed there's nobody around and just just stay in camp and do nothing apart from you know make a few videos like this which nobody will watch I say that, I'm being a bit unfair to, um, I, I, I'm saying that very tongue-in-cheek. tongue, tongue in cheek. So to those that do watch, and I think some of you get a little bit, a little bit um, defensive when I say nobody, nobody watches, um, because some of you do watch, bless you. Um, the faithful few, <laughs> the, the magnificent seven. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm, Steve McQueen or one of the other ones. <laughs> uh, with this uh, with short hair, I'm like more, <laughs> Yul Brynner or whatever his name is. Or, or the Dirty Dozen, the Magnificent Seven. So what are you, the, the Magnificent Seven, the Dirty Dozen? Oh. <laughs> I'm Tony Two Hats. <laughs> And I think you a lot of the dirty dozen, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put some more water on. The rain's raining again. That's it. It's three o'clock. We've done our duties. We've got water. We've gone for a short walk. And we're going to settle down and chill out. It'll be dark in just over an hour. It's ridiculous, isn't it? And that's it, that's our day. We haven't really done very much, we haven't really done anything to be honest. We're about to watch another um, another film. This time we're going to be watching, mind you, one thing I should have done when I was gone, is just put my, put my, my ear foam pieces. Um, we're going to watch uh, Pirates of the Caribbean now. That's the next thing. To, to do and watch. I was going to do a video on on Superfeet, but I'll I'll do that another time. I'm feeling I'm feeling too lazy. Leave a comment below if you're particularly interested in a video on Superfeet. But even if you're not, I'll do one at some point because I've been using them for a very 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 long time, and they help my feet a lot. Don't worry, there won't be any links for them because you're better off getting measured up for those in a proper shop. I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to put the water on and have a have another cup of tea while this wind and rain and everything else does its does its worst outside. Until later. And I must admit, I'm pretty sure they're somewhat drier now. Oop. Oh, motherfuck. Ah, shit. Why did I do that for? Why didn't I just cross there? Let's see. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sometimes I swear I make things more difficult for myself. <laughs> 